WTC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. It was so nice to finally have an entire day of dry weather that kind of let some areas dry out and we needed every little bit of drying out because it does look like more heavy rains will be moving into Acadiana in the coming days with rains beginning as early as maybe just a couple hours as we head through the overnight. So taking a look at the recent satellite and radar, you can begin to see some of that moisture already beginning to move into the northern portions of the Gulf of Mexico, and it won't be long before we start to see that make its way on shore. So we could begin to see some scattered showers down towards Vermilion Parish over in the Iberia and St. Mary, and then maybe even up into Lafayette Parish by about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Also, a little area of some showers beginning to develop back over Beauregard Parish. You can see those starting to make their way up Highway 171 just to the east of DeRitter. We have a little bit of some light to moderate showers that are lifting up in to Vernon and the very western portions of Rapide Parish. So the rain is already starting and it is going to continue to be with us. As you can see, the latest predictive radar shows those showers working into Lafayette by about 1 a.m. and then continuing to lift up to the north through the overnight. The good news is the models are painting a relatively dry commute for most of Acadiana, except up towards Alexandria, you know, where you might be dealing with a few isolated showers. But it does look like outside of just maybe a little bit of some wet roadways, no real issues tomorrow morning. But but as we head towards lunchtime, the models are now getting a little bit more aggressive, showing a little bit more widespread showers in and across a large portion of Acadiana, mainly Lafayette on westward. If you're down towards Morgan City, you might be able to wait a little bit longer, but just looking at this shows the better picture of more widespread rains throughout much of tomorrow. Here's our other model showing again through the night, just some isolate the scattered activity, but mainly dry to start off tomorrow morning. But as we head towards lunchtime, there's that activity moving into western portions portions of Acadiana and you can see with the reds the possibility for some of those moderate to heavy showers working in as we push towards the early afternoon. This is two o'clock on the model again, mainly west and northern portions, but it does look like Lafayette will see its fair share of isolated and on again off again showers throughout Wednesday, even into the evening again, more northern and west portions of Acadiana will have the better chance to see more widespread showers with just isolated activity working through Acadiana. Heading in the Thursday morning, another batch of rain moves in across the area and then continues into Thursday afternoon as the main area of low pressure finally begins to move through. So you can see those yellows and dark reds, so light the moderate activity moving through Acadiana and then heavy activity through much of Thursday afternoon, even into the evening as the system looks like it continues to slow down a little bit and will struggle to finally push out by Friday morning. But clouds will still be with us and cooler temperatures move in behind it. So a dreary end to the work week with lots of clouds and cool temperatures highs only in the low to mid 50s by Friday afternoon. But the most important thing is the rainfall totals and the trends are not going in the right direction. As you can see, Earlier this afternoon, we were only below an inch for Lafayette and New Iberia. Now those totals are coming up to about three and a half for Lafayette, one and a half down towards New Iberia, close to five inches for Lake Charles and close to four inches in Alexandria with that strip of yellow. That's five to six, seven inches of rain beginning to move into central portions of Acadiana. This more than likely would lead to more flash flooding concerns and our other models are painting a pretty similar picture. So two to the four inches is looking more and more likely over the coming days and so flash flood watches are up for northern and western portions including Calcasieu, Allen over into Evangeline of Oils and Rapides Parish for that possibility of flooding concerns tomorrow and into Thursday with two to five inches with isolated higher amounts possible. Also, we're going to have to watch out along the rivers as those are still running very high from last week. So those could also start to flood again as we get these heavy rains to move on top of that. So a lot to pay attention to with these rains in the coming days. But in the short term, cloudy and mild with those shattered showers beginning to move on shore. Temperatures dropping down into the mid 50s, but then a gloomy scattered rainy day tomorrow. Near steady temperatures in those 50s, maybe briefly topping out at 60 degrees. More rain on Thursday before the clouds and drier conditions arrive on Friday. Sunshine doesn't return until Saturday and the weekend is looking really good. Lots of sunshine temperatures where they should be for this time of year and then looking ahead to next week. Right now, the models are keeping us on the drier side, but we'll have to see if that continues. Alrighty, thank you, Eric.